It's time for more Keanu Reeves. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, and today we're watching John Wick 3 Parabellum. And yes, I did have to look up what that was, and now I know. The, the more, more you, you know. know. Real quick before we get into the video, let's take it on over to our specialist, Natalia, for a word from our sponsor, Harry's. Natalie, she's not here again. Okay, yeah, like, yeah, mm hmm no worries. Let me just uh, give her a call real quick. Oh, hello, Natalia, Wh where are you? It's hard to hear you. Hey, love, oh my gosh, get this. So I'm at that Harry Styles concert you told me about and I got bumped up to VIP and Emily Ratajkowski is sitting two rows in front of me. Wow, that is wild. No, no, not Olivia Wilde, Emily Ratajkowski. Jeez, you are such a boomer, always behind on the gossip. Yeah, um, anyway, I wasn't talking about Harry Styles. I was talking about the brand Harry's. You know, I wanted you to film a sponsorship for them today. What? I'm having a really hard time hearing you. It's like super loud in here. Do you think you could leave the concert? Oh, Harry just came out on stage. I gotta go, love. Talk to you later, bye-bye. Is that Chris Pine? Natalia, you're on company time right now. Hello? Hello? Yeah. I dropped my phone and she hung up. So, doesn't matter. I don't need it. Everything's fine. Harry's makes incredible razors at affordable prices. I've been using Harry's for years now and they continue to impress me time and time again. Their razors have amazing lasting power. With high quality blades complete with a precision trimmer and a flex hinge, my eighth shave is just as smooth as my first. Not only that, but their foaming shave gel is amazing too. I have really sensitive skin and struggle with allergies, but Harry's foaming shave gel comes with soothing ingredients like aloe and hyaluronic acid, so it leaves my skin feeling happy and hydrated. In your starter kit, you'll receive a five blade German engineered razor cartridge, a weighted textured handle that's made of 50% recycled plastic, I got mine in the ocean color, shave cream with aloe, and a travel blade cover. Harry's is so confident you'll love their razors that they offer a 100% money back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Try out Harry's for yourself by clicking the link in my description to get your trial set for just $5. Again, that is a $13 value for just $5. So feel free to click the link in my description and get your starter set today. Thank you so much to Harry's for sponsoring this video and thank you guys as always for listening to the sponsor. Sponsors really do help support the channel so I very much appreciate it. Now with all that being said, let's get back into the intro. Welcome back to my channel everyone. Thank you so much for being here, especially you. Yes, you. Hello, you. You. Hi. Thank you so much to all my subscribers who stick around, who watch these videos with me on a regular basis. I really appreciate y'all. And I really appreciate those of you who are also over on my Patreon page. Thank you so much for your support. You guys have created such a fun community, whether it's over here or on Patreon. I love reading your comments down below, your messages and your fun facts and suggestions. And our community is very golden, if I do say so myself. Some might say we are the gold standard for what all YouTube communities should be like. I feel very blessed. If you're new here and you have no idea what I'm talking about, I'm talking about that little red button down below. You can click it to subscribe and you yourself can be a part of this golden community. It's that easy. All you have to do is click that subscribe button and you yourself will be a part of our gold standard community. You will be given a golden plot of land. You could receive a golden Barbie dream car as well as a Barbie dream house. I'm sorry though, you will actually have to pay golden taxes and man, they are rough. So um, something to consider. So many of y'all probably hate me when I do <laughs> these intros, but I can't stop. <laughs> I can't be stopped. In all seriousness though, I'm pretty sure we're, we're getting kind of close to hitting 400K. So um, if you have been enjoying these videos and you wanna help this channel hit 400K, uh, I'd really appreciate it, but no pressure if you don't. Anyway, we are diving on into the third movie in the John Wick franchise, and that is John Wick 3 Parabellum. I'm excited to see what this movie is like, especially considering John Wick 4 has now been released and I will get to watch that hopefully soon. You can never have too much Keanu Reeves, in my opinion, he can do no wrong. The last movie was definitely pretty intense. We have a bunch of people after John now, 
And I'm sure this movie is going to be somehow more gory than the last two, if I had to guess, just because everyone's trying to kill him now. Isn't that fun? I have no idea what the fourth movie could possibly be about. If this one is about him escaping everyone that's trying to kill him, what could the fourth one possibly be about? Obviously, he's gonna be fine. I'm not worried about our boy Keanu in this movie. I know he's gonna be okay. John is gonna survive the movie because there's a John Wick 4. I am a little nervous for the dog, though. I'm not gonna lie, because <laughs> he's got this adorable, Pitbull, and clearly this franchise has already shown that we are not above hurting the audience by killing puppies. So I don't have a lot of faith um, in the dog surviving, although I did say if the dog dies, I will be done with this franchise. So for those of you guys who like my John Wick reactions, for your sake, the dog better not die. I know you're not in control of that, but I'm just saying the dog better not die. But that's really um, all I have to say. <laughs> about this movie because I don't know anything going into it other than where we left off in the last film where everyone's trying to kill him. So I'm sure there's gonna be pretty high stakes in this movie. I feel like some of the other movies maybe started off slightly slower because we had to get a little bit of backstory for where John was at. In the second movie, he's trying to, you know, put his armor and guns and everything away and just get back to living his normal life. In this movie, he's gonna be pretty on edge, I'm sure, for probably the whole time. So, should be fun. And without any further ado, I think we should hop on into it. So if y'all are ready, grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into John Wick 3. Oh, here we are, running through New York City. Man, again, I really think that his friend at the Continental did him dirty by summoning him to Central Park to give him that news. Like, we couldn't have met him at his house. Well, I guess his house is gone, but we couldn't have met him somewhere. Hey, let's kill you just as soon as they'll make you better. Oh. But I know better, man. I know better. I know what I'm... Yep. He's a part of it. Oh, yep. Oh, my God. Is that like a Rolex? TikTok, Mr. Wick. TikTok. That, that looks like the... Oh, I can't remember the name of that actor. He looks a lot like um, a guy who does a lot of comedies. I just worry about his dog. Can we get his dog to safety? The Continental. You can't go. It was received by the Continental. Oh, the dog. Oh, the dog. Oh, well, everybody in the city knows him and knows what those coins mean. Yeah, just protect the dog. I agree. The, the concierge will take care of him. At that point, though, I'd be like, John, um, he's mine now. You can visit him anytime, but he's mine. <laughs> Why the library? Oh, doesn't he have like a vault here? Something is here. What's here? A gun? What did he? What? No, he re the, really just the book? Oh, no, I didn't, oh. That's a photo of him and his wife. You were not made to live as brutes, but to follow virtue and knowledge. This guy's huge. I still have time. He's almost up. Who's gonna know the difference? Really? You're gonna fight him early? 14 minutes, who's gonna know the difference? The person that does the autopsy might. Well, I guess, I guess they're not that specific. Oh God, he already got stabbed. Oh no. And he's got wounds still. How funny would it be if the librarian just comes up here and she's like, shh. <laughs> oh, he just shushed him. <laughs> <laughs> there are people up here and they don't even give a <laughs> They don't give a crap at all. <laughs> ah. Okay. I just don't, I just, ah. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Bye bye, Ernest. Well. Oh, and he puts it back. Such a gentleman. Doc! Doc, it's wet! I bet Doc's gonna honor it too. I was almost up. Uh, Doc, please, there's still time. Five, it's like seven minutes. Still have five minutes. It's five minutes. Five minutes. What is he? He's gonna stitch you up in five minutes? You're gonna get stitched up, John, and then you're not gonna be able to go anywhere. Like, you're not gonna be able to heal. Nick the artery. Yeah. Oh, God. Are you kidding me? John Wick, excommunicado. In effect, one minute. Wow, I feel like I've never seen a, t a movie start off with a timer like this. Normally the timers that are super suspenseful in movies come at the end. Don't, please don't, please. Five seconds. John Wick, excommunicado. The doc took a Hippocratic oath. He's not gonna try to kill John, right? He's a nice man. Sorry, Mr. Wick. I don't That's so sad. Couldn't even finish stitching him up. Mr. Wick, they'll never believe I stopped on the hour. She did. They'll know. Know what? I told you where the medicine was. 
Oh, come on, man. <sighs> What's he, is he about to kill himself? No, what? Are you, where? Oh, he wants him to shoot him. Oh. <laughs> oh, wait. One may not be enough. What? Yes, it will. <sighs> not in the neck, dude. What? Be sure not to graze my car. <laughs> That's so sad. He's like, he's like, make it look realistic. That's actually so smart. Thanks, Doc. What a badass doctor. But he, the thing is, he's gonna bust those stitches open now. I mean, like, all that work, I feel like, was for nothing. Truthfully, if I was John, I would have just immediately started climbing a fire escape and just hit on a roof. I don't know, though, what your plan would be after that. <laughs> Wait till your body heals for days and then try to run, but then you're weak because you're hungry. I mean, I don't know. Oh my God. It's reminding me of like the fun house kind of art exhibit scene we had in the last movie. This is like now a shop of mirrors. What? Oh, he just got in a back way to like a gun wares place. Did he know or was this an accident? He might've just stumbled upon this. That's insane. But now you're gonna be wanted for theft too. Oh no. Don't let him get you, John. You can't handle another wound. The fact that this scene has no music under it is crazy. Like, makes it more suspenseful. Oh, we're just using him as a shield. <laughs> oh God. Ah. Oh. Um, Cameron, I don't know what we're gonna do about this scene, bro. I, I don't know what we're gonna do about this movie. I mean. Contrast of what I'm going through versus what my dogs are experiencing on the couch is kind of funny. God damn it! I don't like how do they how do they do these things for movies? How do they execute this shit, man? Guys, I can't even I can't watch this. Like I literally can't. I have to look away. How? How do people watch this and they're fine? Like, I just, uh, uh, uh. who are these guys? Oh, that's a motorcycle helmet. Oh God, please let the horses be. I don't want a horse to die. Oh no. Also, what the f is a horse stable doing here in the middle of Manhattan? Is there a horse stable in the middle of Manhattan? Anywhere? Oh, it's also funny that these guys are fighting in a, in a horse stable given- Oh no, we're shooting in the horsey stables? No! <laughs> Stop it! He just commanded that horse to... Fight like a man! Put the gun down! Honestly, these horses are really calm given everything that's going on. I, I, the, okay. The fact that he can just speak to the horse and be like, okay, rear, what is it? Rear or buck? Buck. Buck right now is, is insane. <gasps> the Russians? All of this for what? Is a sabachki? Because of a puppy. Kinda, yeah, actually. <laughs> Is this where, was he trained here? Why are the women being trained as ballerinas? I have questions. <laughs> so tell me, Jardani, what do you really want? Passage. Passage. Where did you want to go? Where could you possibly go that'd be a way? Casablanca. Is he gonna get branded? Holy shit, you have to get branded with your ticket? What? This is a bit dramatic. <laughs> bit dramatic, I'm not gonna lie. Interesting, so he's gonna go to Casablanca. I wonder who he knows there. Oh, is this gonna be like somebody who's after John that's a real formidable foe? The blood was spilt on the grounds of the Continental, was it not? Oh, yes. And as a matter of fact, the body gets colder within these very walls. I'd like to see it. She'd like to see the body. What is she here for? She's not here about John Wick. She's here about the guy he killed. The way she holds her gloves, like she's holding them up here while she's walking. I understand that you have your loyalties, but this cannot be overlooked. Let me be clear. I am here to adjudge you. Damn it. You have one week to get your affairs in order. Wow. At such time, your successor will be named. Wow, they just fire him like that? 
Santino was a b really? Mm, sorry, Winston. There's an adjudicator here to see you. Cause he helped John Wick. He helped John Wick like way before he was ever excommunicado though. And yet you gave John a seven round Kimber 1911 knowing that he intended to use it to stand against- Oh my God. I hate the table. Can we just like dismantle the table? In seven days you abdicate your throne. <laughs> <laughs> she's not joking, dude. His laugh is so good, though, but she's not joking. Do not make the mistake of thinking you exist outside the rules. No men do. You have seven days. I'm starting to see, like, John's gonna have to, he's gonna get some allies, I think, with all these men being forced out of their positions. I, like, would love it if we, like, dismantle the high table. I think they're corrupt as f and Santino is a slimy piece of sh he didn't play by the rules, he murdered his sister. But we're not talking about that, are we? I always find it interesting how in movies like this, even just the half second before this, you could see it. Everybody has to wait until their cue to go attack John. Like in reality, they'd all rush him at the exact same time. That would give them the best odds, but you never see that happen in movies. I'd like to see him get rushed all at once. I need to talk to you. Yes, Miss Alazwa. She's expecting you. Miss, Miss Alazwa. Hi, my. Welcome to the Moroccan Continental. So he's allowed at the Moroccan Continental. She not playing by the rules of the high table? Miss Alazwa, I worry for you. They're gonna come for you and remove you from your throne. I just need you to get me to him. To who? Your old boss. You wanna kill Barada? I'm not gonna kill him. I just need to talk. Is Barada at the high table? These dogs are very well behaved. They're like watching John, but like in the cutest way, but also like one wrong move and they'll snap at him. The adjudicator. Where's she going next? Oh, is it the doctor? No f way. There's no way she's gonna go bother the doctor. Maybe not, maybe she's just getting food. The kitty! I have served. I will be of service. What the heck? So he's gonna help her, okay. I seek to make amends, to pay for what I've done. I seek a meeting with the one who sits above the table. Above the table? Who's above the table? There's somebody above the table? Walk until you are almost dead, then keep walking. When you are on your last breath, he will find you, or he will not. I am grateful. I, I mean, I, are they, they can't let him Perhaps out of here alive. you were not listening before. Yeah. You have received a great gift. I have hosted your friend. What do you offer in return? No, not our dogs. I will keep it. No. This will be my gift. No. Very well. Oh, God. And I will kill it. No. <laughs> is the gun inside of that dog? Yeah, it is. Oh, baby. No. Oh. It shot the vest. The dog is acting. Oh God, he said don't, but we're doing it. Honestly, I respect her. I would do it. And uh, honestly, John's one to f talk like, don't do it over your dog. Are you kidding me, John? We've had two movies because you took got revenge for your puppy. Amazing. Sophia, don't. Good job, Sophia. Good job. He shot my dog. I get it. Yeah, he does get it. <laughs> There's so many morons in these franchises who are like, oh, it's a dog, get over it. But I love that Sophia and John are on the same page of like, no, dog is my family. F you, I will murder you for my family. Okay, yeah, the other dog's okay. This is great. Wait, no, it's not. He's not. Yeah, okay, oh my God. I just need to see two dogs. Great, I saw two dogs, we're good. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. We don't even know what John is up to. We're just watching her, but she's great. I love it. She's so good. She's been out of the game and it doesn't even matter. She's flawless. Man, I'm not gonna lie. I would be kind of terrified to be like one of these stuntmen in these movies that have to like have a Belgian Malinois come attack my arm because like, I know you can wear like some protective stuff on your arm like cops do when they train dogs, but it's still gonna be like terrifying. 
Are we both out? Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, they're too slow. Honestly, in that scenario, that's when you pull out your knife, but you're not gonna be fast enough for John Wick. Too slow. I love how the dogs immediately are like, yep, this is our car, get the f out. <laughs> Oh, psych, wrong car. <laughs> Sorry, mom. <laughs> They're so cute. Such cute dogs. Man, I didn't realize we were gonna get more doggos in this movie. Also, I love that like what that guy said about like wandering into the desert and pray the elder finds you. It wasn't just a metaphor. Like we're really following that advice. Wow. And we're really just out here wandering, hoping that that guy's advice was legit. How funny would it be if this is where he actually dies? Like, I know it's not gonna be the case, but that would just be so funny. Like all these people have tried to kill him for $14 million and he just wanders out in the desert and <laughs> dies. Wow. Back in New York. They're coming for him now. Oh my God. So this guy, this guy is terrifying. This guy with the knives, the sushi guy, he's terrifying. Oh, he, look at him. He's so excited right now. Long live the king. Oh, that's so sad. I really like that guy. I hate the high table. They're awful. Drink. Don't worry, your weapon is still there. Wow, he let him keep his weapon. That's insane. I can give you one last chance to earn a life. However, it might not be the life that you wish. Complete a task for us, and your excommunicado will be reversed. Wow. Holy shit. He's that powerful. Not free under the table, but bound to it. Bound to the table. He's going to have to kill for the rest of his days. Yeah, you can't go back to retirement. Die here and now, or continue to live and remember through death. Hmm. Kind of insane. That's a kind of insane choice. What must be done? The cost of your life will be the death of others. The first of which will be the man they call Winston. What? What? He has forgotten his fealty. What? He can't kill Winston. So if you wish to live, and if you wish to remember, this is the choice you must make. What? That's so f***ed up. I will serve. I will be of service. Why? Why would he say yes to that? Why would he say yes to that? What I need. Oh God, what is he supposed to do? Is he supposed to chop his hand? What's he supposed to do? God! He has to chop a finger off? Why? <sighs> okay, okay, questions. Um, Did he have to chop a finger off second? Did he have to chop his wedding fi ring finger off? Like why that one? Maybe like that's what you're supposed to do. I don't know, that's just sad. I accept this offering. Oh, cause he has to give an offering and it's all he has. He's not gonna be as good of a fighter missing that finger. I mean, he's still gonna be fine, but what the f He's really gonna kill Winston? I can't imagine that he's gonna go along with this. Like this doesn't make sense to me. I thought he had some loyalties. I don't know. I'm interested to see if, the, if he actually does that or not. If he does, i not sure how I feel about that. Is he already gonna be back in New York? Oh my God, he's already back and he's in all black. He does look good in all black, I'm not gonna lie. He probably hasn't slept in weeks. <laughs> Welcome to New York. It's been waiting for you. <gasps> oh my God. Wait, so the high table knows why he's here and they're watching him to see if he does what he promised he would do? Are these the guys that were working with the adjudicator? They are, right? Yeah, it's the sushi guy. <laughs> oh, unless it's just that he wanted to fight John. Yeah, never mind. Okay. We have to fight here in Grand Central Station. Oh, they're so creepy. The way they sneak up like that. They really, they really are like ninjas. <laughs> Be with you. Yep. He was. He's unfazed. Oh, now John's gone. Ah! <laughs> I straight up didn't mean to sing that song, but it just kind of happened. I realized I was at that pitch and then I just went with it. Oh my God. Without skipping a beat. <laughs> 
There's a second bike. Yeah, he's gonna take it. <laughs> Guys, the bridge is closed. Uh, come on. Follow the rules of the road. That's a problem with motorcyclists, man. Oh, the Continental. John, wakey wakey. Sir, put your weapon down. Yeah, he's on the grounds. Man, this concierge is just so amazing. He just appeared the minute John put his hand on the steps. I'd like to see the manager. Of course. Of course, wow. If you would be so kind as to follow me. <sighs> I can't imagine John's just gonna kill Winston. He must, he must be here to like tell him what he was told to do. Oh, this guy came up with him, interesting. Really, dude? Really? <laughs> the f man? Is he gonna move? Yeah. Why is he sitting like that? Oh, his dog. Is that the dog? No. He likes you. It's not the dog. It is his dog, but not the dog. This is weird how this guy goes from acting so intimidating to like personable. If you feel you must, put a bullet through my heart. Ay. You should have killed me in the Continental. Maybe I should have. Yeah, and he didn't. He didn't. Seems like everyone is suffering from the consequences of their actions. Mm-hmm. But it's only because the High Table deemed it so, and the High Table f***ing sucks! You're going to war with the High Table. Skirmish. Skirmish? Unless you decide to shoot me, but then I'd rather die at the hand of a friend. Oh. No, I've made my choice. It's up to you to make yours. Oh. He's great. What choice? Yeah. You could go against the high table. Exactly. And I can remember her. Until you die as a servant of the high table. Right, what a pathetic way to die, Jonathan. Yeah. The real question is, who do you wish to die in? Yeah, Helen wouldn't want you to kill Winston. It's a really good question, Winston. I know what I would choose. Oh, she's here to watch. Always carrying her gloves like that. I want to see her fight. Does she fight? Have you decided to step down? I think not. And you? Will you be putting a bullet in his head? Is he going to say, I think not? No. I don't think I will. Yeah, hell yeah. Very well. She's making a call. Uh-oh. Now they're both going to be have bounties on their head. The Continental Hotel, New York. New designation? Deconsecrated. Oh, deconsecrated. So that means they don't work with the high table? Business may now be conducted on continental grounds. That's what that means. People can be killed here! Our service is still off limits to me. Under the circumstances, your privileges are reinstated immediately. That's, of course, of course. Guns. A lot of guns. Yeah, baby! Yeah, baby! Let's make a withdrawal. Woo! I'm so glad he made this decision. I, I was like, I'm gonna hate John Wick if he kills Winston. I'm, I'm gonna be disappointed with him as a character, but he made the right decision. We'll be sending some of our finest for additional support. Cool. Cool. <laughs> this guy's such a weirdo. Cool. Uh-oh, oh my God. They just roll out on buses like they're already here. It's insane. That is like a SWAT team. Oh my God, it said Parabellum in the, oh, it says that in the adjudicator high table symbol, I guess, okay. Sharon, would you help set the mood for our new guest? The mood, Sharon. I hope that Sharon survives. Ah, oh, the mood. No way. We have lights like that? Oh my God. Seeing Winston there with his dog, just like, oh, okay. See this back in. Parabellum. Parabellum, oh. I guess that's what it also means in Latin? Prepare for war? Oh. Oh, Jesus Christ! Okay, that works. That works, okay. See, these guys are smart. These guys are rushing him. Like they know they're supposed to, you know? They're the first guys I feel like in the movie that are all trying to rush him at once. Where the other guys like with choreography would just wait because they have to. This is like what I wanted to see. Him like be more overwhelmed. Oh, 
Oh wow. Okay, I think he's I think you got him. We're throwing that gun away? Are we out of ammo for it? Oh no. Oh my god. Wow, they got so they got so creative with the ways in which Oh, okay. 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 Whoa! <laughs> Back under the water. <laughs> That guy's crazy. He's so crazy. I don't think the high table's gonna like that you were sabotaging them. They got so creative with this movie and the ways in which John, like the places in which John could shoot people. <laughs> God damn it, John. Protect your face, mother -fucker. Yeah, these guys are way more intimidating than the freaking SWAT team. Oh my God, John. Oh my God. <laughs> They could really only do this scene once, huh? The level of destruction. Imagine resetting on this. They're gone again. They're just, stay sharp, John. They're probably behind you. He's so creepy. Man, we're really just repeating like the last movie with like the Hall of Mirrors kind of sequence, except this is even better because the guy's way more intimidating than Santino. He's up there. The thumbs up. What is with this guy? Why is he so like, weird and creepy and weird? Like he's so weird. I just like, I, there's a part of me that likes him, but like most of me is just confused and skeeved out. I like that he was like sabotaging the high table at the, just because he wanted to kill John himself. I kind of like that, but he's so creepy. Oh, oh. Send Hunter to fight with you. What? Why are they helping him now? Why are they helping him now? Why would you do that? I'm so confused. Why would you like not kill him there if that's their goal or is it not their goal? But the thing is, like, he's killing some of their men. Why would they? What is with these guys? He trapped his arms. He trapped his arms with the jacket. It was all in the jacket. Oh, damn. Oh. He's seeing you. Oh, good. He is letting him live. That's nice. Cause honestly, they let you live. <laughs> they let you live, so you should let them live. That that was cool. I like that. Cause I was like, what are we gonna do now? Like, we can't kill these guys. They were just so geeking out because they were so excited to be fighting John Wick. They was like, oh whatever. Come on, let's keep fighting. How did he get the remote? If I didn't have to kill you, we'd be pals. I don't know if we would be pals. You're kind of weird. Although you are kind of funny. Although he's got way more energy. Like this is bad. And John is slow right now. Oh no. He's too, oh no. What are you gonna do, John? It's really not a fair fight to beat John Wick when he's like exhausted after battling so many people and all of your students. I mean, I don't think this, this guy doesn't necessarily need to care about that. I'm just saying like, it wouldn't be much of an honor to defeat him this way, I feel like. Oh, no, no, not that zone. No, 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 I'm good, thank you. He's gone again, he's gone again. Oh my God, we are really not getting tired of this bit, are we? We just, we love this bit, huh? Whoa, just paralyzed him. Oh God. Oh my God, John is terrifying. Jesus Christ, this is, <laughs> oh my God. He loves that move of like banging the knife in that way. He does that a lot, huh? <laughs> oh dude, at least some of his students got to live. They can avenge you later in the next movie. I would like to suggest a parlay. A parlay would be good. Uh-huh. Very well. <laughs> that would be nice. Thank you. <laughs> you <laughs> I would like to suggest a parlay because um you destroyed us. Oh my god, he's sitting up right now. Dude, you're hardcore, man. That was a pretty good fight, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, you can take the Continental, I've no doubt about that, but keeping it, that's a different matter entirely. Right. My allegiances run way beyond this building. Yeah. We are high table. And we are New York. Yes! I was hoping you would say we are New York. <laughs> yeah. We are New York motherfucking city. I'm from New York State, but close enough. <laughs> now, I humbly acknowledge I overstepped and re-pledged my fealty to the high table. What about John? Oh, he has to die. Sorry, Jonathan. What? Like, what? I have questions. Mr. Wick is gone. A true tragedy. You misunderstand. Oh. I mean that he is no longer on the street. I trust you understand the repercussions if he survives both from above and below. Oh, uh, that was all a plan on their, all of their parts. The last thing either one of us needs is Mr. Wick paying us a visit in the night. Oh, he's not worried about Mr. Wick visiting him. <gasps> he's dressed up as a member of the Bowery. Oh no, he's in the guy's cart. Did the guy survive? No way. <gasps> the king! And he's got a badass scar. So. The old boy keeps his hotel and you take the fall. Uh-huh. Can't say I blame him. I would have done the same thing if I was in his shoes. This high table. Yeah, it's really f***ing annoying. Are we gonna tear it down? You pissed John. <gasps> Are you? Oh my God. Oh, he fell f really hard on his face. Yeah. Jesus Christ. I really liked this one. I think I definitely enjoyed this more than the second. It feels like a rebellion is forming for this fourth movie. And that's really exciting to watch not only John feel like he's been wronged over and over again in these movies, but also to see other people start to feel like they've been wronged and maybe resent the high table and want to work with John or rebel. There were a lot of like pleasant surprises. I didn't really see that double cross moment coming from Winston, although I don't think that it really was a double cross. I think John, I don't know, maybe John didn't know what Winston was doing, but I think Winston knew that John would survive the fall or at least hoped that he would. I don't, I don't necessarily think John Winston was trying to kill John because he wouldn't have shot him in the suit. So John might have known what was going to happen the whole time, but maybe he didn't. Either way, I don't necessarily think there's bad blood there. I just think there's bad blood with a high table. But I guess we'll see in the fourth movie. I love the fact that the Bowery King survived because I love him. Um, and I definitely thought he had died. So that was a fun twist at the end. I find it kind of sad that like he had to give up his wedding ring finger of all the fingers when he, his whole purpose for living is like remembering what it felt like to be loved and be in love and remember his wife. And that's his whole purpose for wanting to survive. And that's the finger he gives up. I find that interesting. And I'll be curious to see where this next movie takes us. And if it's the final one, I don't know how many stories there are in the John Wick world. I feel like with each movie too, the sets just get better and better. Like I feel like the sets in this movie were just even more over the top and beautiful and crazy and the lighting was just so insane. And we definitely saw a lot of that in the second movie, but I feel like with this whole last fight sequence at the Continental with all these rooms that we haven't seen before was just so beautiful. And interesting characters for sure. Uh, that sushi guy, Zero, I kept calling him the sushi guy just because he serves sushi. What a quirky character. And his students were so interesting too. Like the fact that when they were fighting John Wick in the end there, his last two students gave John another chance to get back up and fight. Like they didn't want to defeat him the easy way. It was nice to finally see characters in a movie that John Wick was having a really tough time defeating. I feel like we saw a little bit of that sometimes in the past movies, but I really feel like this movie was the first time where it's like he's getting old, he's getting slow, he's run down, he's worn out, and he's facing these people that are really talented and fast on their feet, and it was actually a challenge for him, and I liked that. It makes sense, because the first movie, it's like, oh my God, he's so good at fighting, he's terrifying, he's the Baba Yaga. Second movie, it's a little bit more difficult for him. This movie, it's truly a struggle. I like seeing that journey for him and I'll be curious to see what the next one is like. I hope y'all enjoyed watching this movie with me. If you did, definitely make sure to give this video a thumbs up so that I know and I can check out more John Wick in the future with all of y'all. Of course, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and anything else you might like me to check out next and subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden. Bye.